The King of Fighters has a lot of characters. From Fatal Fury to Art of Fighting and plenty of originals, KOF's roster size is nothing to scoff at. In its giant pool of characters, there exists one who has all but been erased from history, one whose inclusion threatened SNK to such a degree that they replaced him with a completely new character. But why take such drastic measures, and who is this character? Well, today, we'll be talking about SNK's copyright disaster, the perfect Kyo clone, K9999. Who exactly is K9999? During the Nest Saga, the Nest's Syndicate were conducting cloning and DNA experiments with the DNA of Kyokuzanagi. This led to the creation of the Kyo clones and K Dash. After Chrysalid's failure, Nests set out to create the perfect Kyo clone and on their 9,999th attempt, they succeeded, and K9 was born. The best way to describe K9 is angry and violent, yelling during most of his attacks, and often laughing like a complete madman when he wins a round. He absolutely hates K- and the only character that could really even be considered a friend is his fellow Nests agent, Angel. Outside of fighting, the only thing he really cares about would be his motorcycle. Now that we know who K9 is, let's talk about his role in the King of Fighters. Introduced in the King of Fighters 2001, K9 is a part of the Nest's agent team with Foxy, Kula, and Angel. K9 uses pyrokinesis and his robotic arm, which can transform into drills and a gun to fight. Fun fact about his arm is that outside of Japan, his gun attack is censored. So, instead of, you know, shooting you with a gun, he's pointing his fist at you. K9 is a very unique character. Most of its normals are unconventional and strange. For example, his sweep is a slide that doesn't knock down, and his jumping punch attacks are multi-hitting spikes. It doesn't stop there though. His super moves use the infamous Geese Howard trademark pretzel motion, making comboing harder than your average KOF character. Also, his super DM and secret DM have some of the strangest inputs I've ever seen. One uses all four attack buttons, and one involves no attack buttons at all. You just do back and forward on the stick four times in the air. K9 is definitely a product of his time, as most new KOF characters during the 2000s era had something weird about them. You might have noticed something though. Despite being a Kyo clone, he really doesn't do any Kyo stuff like K Dash does. In fact, he only uses his flames for two of his attacks. It's almost like he's based off of something else entirely. I'm just gonna be straight up and say it. K9999 is a ripoff of the manga slash anime Akira. Specifically, its main villain, Tetsuo. Here are the facts. K9's design, personality, Quotes and attacks are heavily inspired by Tetsuo. This is the most blatant with his flesh arm attack, and if you're still not convinced, they even got Tetsuo's voice actor, Nozomu Sasaki, to voice K9. Even so, SNK has taken inspiration in the past. Just look at Benimaru, who is just a blonde Polnareff from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. While this is true, the difference here is that Benimaru has completely different powers, personality, and eventually design as the games went on. He's not trying to avenge his sister from being killed by a man with two right hands, and he doesn't use a sword ghost with a rapier to fight. K9's situation is much more drastic, and 
borders on plagiarism. During the development of KOF 2001, someone just decided to add their favorite anime character to the game. Even so, K9 stuck around and would be included in KOF 2002, but after that, he got a few background cameos in the PS2 versions of KOF 2003 and 94, and Days of Memory, just to name a few. He then vanished completely from KOF. He wasn't in Eleven. He wasn't in Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. He was planned for the King of Fighters Neo Wave, but was removed. And then, the ultimate nail in the coffin, in the revision of KOF 2002, KOF 2002 UM, a game about having every character from KOF 99 to 2002 playable, he was replaced by a completely new character named Nameless. I won't get into Nameless here, as I'd rather do a separate video on him, but all you need to know is he has all of K9's functionality and none of the Akira. He's also better than K9 gameplay wise, making him one of the best characters in 2002 UM. Now that Nameless took K9's spot, he quite literally started being erased from history. He was removed from official sites, his portrait in the King of Fighters encyclopedia was just blacked out like he was a locked character or something. In KOF 14, unlockable KOF 2000's era artwork was edited to remove him. The new KOF manga has no mention of him, and the mobile game KOF All Star had no mention of him, and it later would include Nameless. So. Basically, SNK pulled a Stalin here and just edited the pictures and just, whoop, uh, th there was never any K9 in history, what are you talking about? Nameless has been here the entire time. Now, the reason why SNK did this should be quite obvious. It was just too much of a copyright headache to deal with, so they decided to just get rid of him. And while that's never been directly confirmed, I should stress no one at SNK has said, oh well, he was too similar to Tetsuo from Akira, and you know, there was never any lawsuit here. But you know, let's be real here guys. Why would they go to such lengths to remove a character they created from their games? SNK wouldn't even mention him by name, they would just not refer to him or internally referred to him as the guy nameless replaced. And just like that, a character was erased from KOF history, and with SNK's stance on the matter, and nameless quite obviously, being the replacement, it was clear K9 would never be coming back. He'd be forgotten, and ultimately, fade into obscurity. On December 9th, 2021, a new trailer would drop for the King of Fighters 15. It revealed a brand new character to the roster, except this character was new in name only. Cronin was revealed as a shock to basically every KOF and every SNK fan. Exceptions were shattered. As I am writing this video, KOF 15 isn't out yet, but come on. He has all of K9's moves, he has none of Nameless's moves, he's teaming up with Angel and Kula, he's got beef with K Dash and Kyo. You get the picture. As you can see, he's gotten a completely new redesign, and now he leans a little bit more into Pyrokinesis and his robotic arm. He is now rocking a yellow motorcycle jacket and part of his cape from his intros, and honestly, the first time I saw him, I thought he looked like Chuck Green from Dead Rising 2. The impossible happened here. A character that was once thought to be stuck in copyright hell has come back in a spectacular way. And that was the story of K9 to Cronin. I'm happy that we got a happy ending this time and that k9 wasn't completely forgotten the time yeah we always had nameless but it always felt wrong that they kind of just up and replaced his character when they could have just redesigned him and look that's exactly what they did 
I got to play some K9 in the second beta back in December, and I have to say, he is just so much fun to play. He still is unique as ever, and the new system really fits him well. Definitely a character you should try out in KOF 15. Well, like always, thanks for watching, have a great day, and goodbye.